the different terms like elder, bishop, pastor, all of these terms could be used synonymously to talk about the same position within the church. But the reason why I use different terms is because they, they don't all mean the same exact thing, and they're talking about different qualities or attributes that go along with that position. So when it comes to a pastor, a pastor is someone like a shepherd. That would be another word for a pastor, a shepherd, someone who's, able, who's responsible watching over a flock, watching over a pasture, and, and making sure that everything is in line there. And that, that speaks to the responsibility that a pastor has. And, you know, my motivation for preaching the sermon this morning is, is multiple fold. One, I want anyone, especially any young men who are considering becoming a pastor one day, if that might be on the horizon for you, if it's something that you've been thinking about, something that you might desire to have, it's really important to understand all of the things that go into being a pastor. It's also important just for the church in general to be taught about the role uh, that the pastor has within the church. And the, the reason for that is because, you know, I don't know if it's specific to the time that we live in, but it, it's another common complaint that people have or a criticism is very similar to what we've seen with Korah, Dathan, and Abiram with Moses. Like, oh, well, you know, all the people are holy. Who do you think you are? You're making yourself to be some, you know, this great person. Why can't we all just lead? Well, you know, who, why are you any different? What is it? Well, who do you think you are? And have that type of an attitude towards leadership within the church and towards a pastor specifically. Say, oh, you guys, you know, you've got your one-man show and you think it's all about you. And first of all, I was going to say, look, I don't think it's all about me. It's not all about the pastor. However, we have a congregation here. We have a body. We have a group of people here that are working together. We're joined together in like faith. Look, we're all here voluntarily because we want to be here, because we want to serve God. So we've come together and joined ourselves individually, individual families, individual people, have all decided to come together into one place because we all want to learn, we want to grow, and we want to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen? Isn't that why you're here this morning? You're free to come and go as you please, right? I don't have, the pastor doesn't have any extra authority just digging into your lives and controlling what you can and can't do and do, you know, everything about your life. That's not what this is about at all. We all decide to come and to learn, but it's important, and one, and one of the reasons why it's important to understand this is because there's going to be people who are going to try to divide and split up and stop the work that's being done. And it only makes sense that you have a person, when you have a large group of people who are coming together as one body, obviously the Bible teaches us and we believe that Jesus Christ is the head. I mean, this is where we get our instructions. This is where we ultimately get everything that we need. And the word of God comes from that head. Okay, this is the direction. But the word of God isn't enough for everything to run smoothly and operate and function the most effectively. Now, obviously, it's enough to teach us everything we need to know and give us all the instruction. But at the human level... Things need to be carried out. Things need to continue. I mean, there's, there's just an administration that needs to happen. And that just makes sense. I mean, I don't care if people aren't even religious. That just makes sense to have somebody to kind of oversee, rule, make sure things are happening, and just head it in a certain direction. I mean, even businesses, that's why you have a chief executive officer, right? I mean, it's their job to make sure things are going the way that, that their business or enterprise is supposed to go. Well, when you have a large group of people, no matter what their goal is, right? In business, your goal is to make money or your goal is to produce a product, to help you, whatever. Here, our goal is to serve God. 